MPL action returns to Belmore and it gives us two teams with eyes on starting new eras. For Sydney Olympic, they've made off-season moves with an eye on 2025 in the National Second Division. For Hills, they're taking their first steps in this competition. A signal given by the referee and we're off and running here at Belmore Sports Ground. Zach Zaricic is immediately called into action. Switch of play onto the feet of Will Much. Now, Darcy Burgess will try and wasn't far away. Numbers crowding around Noah James. Back post is where it goes. Up goes Modford. And Zokubo is the target. Able to get his touch and puts it on goal. And it's the perfect start for Hills United. Yu Okubo on debut. Took it around Ziggy Gordon and Noah James and was not missing it from that close. Much has found Casella who stays on side and Casella tries. A fingertip save. He'll have possession and this will give the defense a bit of a break. Oh, commentators curse strikes and that's a crunching challenge and this will be interesting now. Nikolai Muller has been sent off. Yona looking for a Kubo again. And that'll be the end of the first half, and it's Hills who have the 1 0 lead, courtesy of their new Japanese number nine, Yu Okubo. But they have an uphill battle to face in the second half. It looks like Olympic have already made one change, and that is Jackson Bandiera has come on for his Olympic MPL debut. Looks to be in place of Will Much. Okubo looks to combine. Belcardi has got the other side of Qual. And he's the only man getting forward for Hills. Still Belcardi with a chance to make it too. Looking back on the replay on the YouTube stream, you can see he starts to run so deep. He, he still picks up the ball 40 metres out. O'Donovan heads it back. And Totus tries, but couldn't keep it down. Parkhouse. O'Donovan has gone all the way out to the back post. And it's come out for him. Roy O'Donovan saved by Ryan Wood. Pufflet finds O'Donovan around the corner. This is much better from Olympic. O'Donovan. It'll be Tank Wall through the wall and just wide. Majok looking to feed Pufflet. Here is Pufflet. Saved at the first time of asking. Now Parkhouse. McElhaddon's delivery. This time a bit more distance on it. Back into the mixer. Palmed away. Half off the crossbar. Half with the fingertips of Ryan Wood. Their sides are where the adversaries this afternoon is now. Mackle had it, the strike on goal, palmed away, cries of handball, penalty Olympic. To equalise, Roy O'Donovan slots it. The perfect penalty from Roy O'Donovan, and Olympic are alive. Just over five minutes to go. It's one cleanly. Here is Frangi, goes down, and penalty Hills. From what penalty off for Olympic? And now it's Hill's turn from the spot. And we could be set for more. Here's Watford. Sends the keeper the wrong way. And Hills have been a man down for an hour. They conceded just a couple of minutes ago. And now they're back in the lead. At the discretion of the referee now. Hills praying for the final whistle. Olympic hoping they get one more chance. And full time at Belmore. A massive upset on the first day of the season for Hills. With 10 men for more than an hour. They led 1-0. They conceded the equaliser. But almost as quickly as they lost the lead, they regained it. Courtesy of Owen Montford's penalty. And Hills are 2-1 victors on the day here at Belmore Sports Ground.